Module 8.1 Bet Manager and Arse and Full Collateral Form Welcome to Module 8.1 of your Profarm Professional Training Course. In this module we take a look at the Bet Manager and also an alternative way of recording your bets and we also take a look at the Collateral Form screens. We're on the Profarm Welcome screen and you can get to the Bet Manager from the Features menu at the top or from the buttons down the side. Now the first thing we'll say is the Bet Manager really does need an overall but there are much better ways of recording your bets using the Export feature. We'll come to that in a few minutes but first of all we'll go through the current Bet Manager. So we've opened the Bet Manager and we want to add in a new bet so we click on New Bet and it's a horse that we have running today so we choose today's date double click Kempton double click the race choose the horse we want to place the bet on so we have it set as a back bet and we'll put it down as £10 stake and the price we got was 3 to 1 say and we then just click on OK and the bet drops into the bet manager and when the results are loaded into Proform, the bet will be reconciled with the profit and loss depending on whether it won or lost. You can also enter in a manual override of the reconciliation. So we'll choose a race from yesterday. Then Shoegazer was the winner. So let's say you had a bet on that and it, it was 7 to 4 and you had £10 on it. And you've got two to one. And you would just enter the profit in manually at this point. And you can see the manual bet has gone in with a profit of £20. So we do the same again for a race yesterday, but this time we'll use a back bet. And we'll do it on the winner again. And it was four to one. So we're doing £10. at 4 to 1. Click OK. And you can see the profits calculated because it knows that the horse won the race. If you want to get rid of a bet you can just click on a line and click delete bet. If you want to display a graph of your current bets just click on the display graph. If you just want to see the bets you've got today just show today's bets. On the bet screen you can create a category we'll call this win bets and when you add in a bet in you can tick that it's part of this category and you'd enter your stake again and the price and click OK and you can then just look at bets that are only within the category you've chosen. So you can group your bets together into different types of bets using the category function. You can deposit in an amount to set your starting bank. You can see how by displaying the graph it's added that £1,000 in as a deposit that has took your bank up to the £1,000 level. And you can delete those in exactly the same way. You can click on decimal odds and put in decimal odds for it to work out the returns. And if you want to put in each way or lay bets or pull bets, these are just using the manual override. So as soon as you tick one of these, you'll see it just flicks the manual override automatically. So it doesn't work them out on the fly for you. You have to actually work out the returns and put the profit and loss in there. So as you can see, it's a very simple bet manager tool. And 
it does need a little bit of an overall because it's been in the software right from the beginning so it's sort of eight or nine year old feature and we have it on a list to update at some stage but what I found over time is that the majority of your bets you have in the system builder so it's much easier to just export the data and you can export a lot more data against the results and store them in an Excel sheet so as an example let, let's just choose all of yesterday's runners by just doing a quick quick days of one and this just shows all the results yesterday let's just assume that this was a system that you've done so by using the preferences in the system builder you can set the fields that you want to see whether it was favorite and so on what the jockey was if you've got the in running module you've got the in running low odds and the percentages and these I quite like to have in there so that when I double click and see the full system results I can see the highs and lows and the percentages that they have dropped in running and this allows you to analyze your systems using Excel to see how many of them went low enough to do back to layers for instance so let's say this is your system results from yesterday so you can right click and then do export to CSV just give them a name and this has exported those results to a CSV file which you can then save as a full Excel file and this might be in normal Excel or open office or whatever it is you use and you could then start adding in extra columns to work out the profit and loss using the formula functions in Excel I'm not going to try to teach you how to use the formulas in Excel um, if you know how to use them then fine if you don't then that's what we have the bet manager for really but it is worth just doing a little bit of research into using simple formulas on Excel sheets so that's covered off the bet manager and how I would record results of your systems so let's move on to the second part of this module which is looking at the collateral form screens so we'll pick a race this evening at Kempton and since this is an all-weather race it should have quite a bit of collateral form and we'll just hide the button so we can see the screen better and if we click on the collateral form screen we can see it shows us at present in date order how each horse when it's run against each other based on the weights it carried then and the distance it ran at and today's weights it's carrying and the distance it's running at what horse A should beat horse B by in lengths which is called collateral form so if we take a look at harvest mist and we'll look at horse collateral form this just shows us the times that harvest mist has met the other horses in the race so on the 14th of February it met these three horses in a race at Kempton over seven furlongs and based on the weights then and the weights now it should still have the beating of Dingan by four lengths, Dubinsky by four lengths and so on and it also met Yolding Dancer which came seventh compared to Harvest Smith's fifth and Yolding Dancer is slightly better at the weights and should win by half a length now collateral form is based on all things being equal and the horses are metronomic and they'll run the same again and again and we know that's not the case so these are just a guide there are many reasons why collateral form in most instances won't stand up so it is just a guide so you can see how horses have run against each other in past races well that's it for module 8.1 training session Recording your bets is a must. Once you have a large set of recorded bets, you will be able to find patterns in your betting that are working for you.